What's up guys, I'm gonna make a quick video here, a random video, I know I haven't posted in a while, but uh, kind of fell off with that whole thing, but here I have a Rubik's Cube, I'm gonna make a video of me solving it, and uh, this is the most basic way there is, I think, it's when you buy a Rubik's Cube, this 3x3, three three, whatever, one, it comes with the booklet, or at least it did when I bought it, and in that booklet is a series of, I think it's more than 10 steps of, uh, algorithms you have to memorize to um, solve the cube and uh, this isn't by any means a speed method there are those people that uh, you know they do the speed competitions where they solve it in just a few steps I don't I never learned how to do that I learned this method when I was like 16 I just read the booklet and uh, I memorized it it's a lot to memorize, but it's just muscle memory. You you do each step over and over again, and then like anything else. And uh, right now I'm 31 and I still haven't forgotten how to do it. And I don't do it every day. I haven't done it for years and years. So uh, I'm gonna do it, I'll try and get it in the frame here. And then uh, if you guys want a tutorial on how to do this, so I'll, let me know and I'll make one of those. And also check out my other videos on this channel, the piano videos and art and all that. So I'm going to mix up the cube here. And uh, mix it up really well. And then that's pretty good. You can see it's all mixed up. Now I'm going to pick a color here on, uh, to be the first face that I'm going to solve. I'm gonna pick blue. So here we go. Blue face is done. You can see uh, the bottom layer is also done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and solve the middle layer. And this cube is really loose. Sometimes uh, you have the cubes that are like real stiff and it's hard to turn. It gets uh, caught up. Like when you turn, you stumble because it's not as lubricated as this one or whatever. I don't know what they put in it, but it moves really good. So one I had. Um, okay, now you can see the second layer, first layer and the bottom is solved. I'm gonna go ahead and solve the top. Or almost the top. So here you can see now, sometimes when you do this, it works out like that, where I only have one step left to solve it, but other times, just uh, depending on how the cube's oriented, you have to go through more steps to, to solve it. So right now I have uh, one step left. You can see it's all done. So, depending upon how it lands, uh, it could be faster or slower. Because if it didn't land like that, I would have to do more steps. Uh, but that's just up to kind of luck so you can see it's solved and it's really fun to do and when you it's a good mental exercise because you have to memorize all of these different uh, um, twists and turns of the cube so once and it's fun to learn how to do it and challenge yourself to 
utilize your memory especially nowadays people you know focus isn't really there and all that shit so um, if you want to learn how to do it like i said leave a comment and uh, let me know i'll make a tutorial on it i'm sure the other tutorials out there you could watch too or you could just get the booklet and do it on your own but um, if you want to see it, let me know, and I'll try to do an aerial bird's eye view, so it's uh, you could see it as if you were me from my perspective, so the image isn't flipped and all that stuff. But uh, leave your comments, leave your likes, subscribe to the channel, let me know what else you would want to see, and uh, check out my other videos. And thanks for watching.